have everyone in, um, but we'll start accepting if anyone joins late. But good morning, my name is Tori Koch. I'm with the legal team at the Department of Commerce. Thank you for joining us today. We're doing this in conjunction with League. I first wanna start out by introducing the new program specialist for this program. As you can see, we have Colin Zollinger um, displayed on the screen right now, but we also have Ashley Amato. And so they will be the leads for this program and they will be incredibly helpful as you start turning in applications or if you just have any questions about the process or eligibility. So the goal for today is to kind of discuss the next steps in the application process and then provide an opportunity to ask questions related to the process at the end. So I'm just gonna get started by kind of reiterating some of the application process that we've discussed before. But the deadline for accepting and soliciting applications was December 31st of 2023. So that deadline has now passed. Please remember that no documentation was required to meet that requirement and you'll just be required to fill out a certification when you turn in your application saying that you fulfilled that requirement. Now that that deadline has passed, we are looking at uh, holding a public hearing as required by the bill and the process. So in this public hearing, you should address the applicants, uh, your proposed projects. Um, and all we're requiring for documentation for that with your application is a meeting agenda, meeting notice, meeting minutes, a video of the meeting. We're pretty open as to what you can turn in to um, show us that you did have this public hearing. And that public hearing needs to happen before you submit an application. So once that, uh, once that public hearing is held and you have met the other requirements for the process, you can go ahead and turn in your application. So with the application, keep in mind that you need to turn in a list um, that prioritizes in order your proposed projects. Um, that's really important so we know which projects you're prioritizing and in what order you're prioritizing them. The application can be found on Commerce's, web Commerce's website and I will go ahead and throw that in the chat really quick. So the application can be found on the website that I just linked in the chat. The application submission date is March 30th. However, that deadline is flexible. If you are ready to go, you can turn in that application before March 30th. Um, there's also some flexibility to turn it in after March 30th. However, the uh, we landed on the March 30th date because per the bill, you're required to be under contract by December 31st of this year. And so we felt the March 30th deadline kind of um, helps make that deadline achievable. So again, keep in mind, March 30th is the deadline. However, you can submit an application before or a little bit after that as well. Also at that link that I sent in the chat, there's a lot of helpful information on this program. You can find the guidelines for the application, the application, and then frequently asked questions. And we do up update the FAQ um, once there are kind of questions that we see in frequency. So we'll update that every so often. Now that I've kind of gone through the process, I wanna open it up for process related questions. If you do have specific questions about project eligibility, you can email and I will put it in the chat, doccdd at mt.gov. And our goal is to respond to inquiries at that email in about one week. So with that, I wanna open it up. Does anybody have any questions related to the application process? Um, and then please raise your hand if you do, or uh, just throw it in the chat and we'll be able to answer it there.
I'll give it a few more minutes um, in case we have any stragglers who have any questions. But like I said, if you do have a question, feel free to send it in the chat or raise your hand right now. Otherwise, you can email doccdd at mt.gov um, if a question does come up or if you have a question specifically about project eligibility. All right, um, Ed, so we have submitted our project applications. How is the city notified regarding project approval or denial? So the city will be notified via um, email or letter. That's something I think we're still trying to figure out, but we do have that drafted. Um, and the deadline that we kind of have set for us is reviewing applications within 45 days, and then you'll be notified either both of approval or denial. Um, around that window. Does that answer your question, Ed? Do we have any other questions? We have another question from Ed. Do you expect it will take the full 45 days? Um, honestly, at this time, that's difficult for us to know because it's very dependent on how many applications we have at one time um, and the capacity of the team to be able to review those applications. As I mentioned, we have two program specialists now, so that I, I think that will be really helpful for us to kind of um, move forward with this process. However, that 45 days, it's just kind of hard to know if it will be possible to review applications before that 45 days is up. I know that's probably not the answer you wanted, but it's really just dependent on how many applications we have at once and what the capacity of the team is to review those. All right, well, if nobody has any other questions, I will just remind you all, if you do have questions, you can email that email that I added to the chat. Um, additionally, we will be adding this recording to the website. So the website is a really great tool for all infor information regarding this program um, and answering any questions that you might have. However, if there's something uh, that the website can't answer, feel free to email that email I linked. So with that, thank you all for coming today. We really appreciate your time and reach out if you have any questions. Thank you, Tori. Thanks, everyone.